Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create Flowdesk subscriber on Razorpay payment. So I'm running an online course and I'm using Razorpay as my payment gateway to receive new payments. So now here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive new payment through my Razorpay, then I want to add that customer as a new subscriber in my Flowdesk account so that I can start engaging with them. So here to automate this entire process, I need to connect my Razorpay account with my Flowdesk account using an automated software named as Pabli Connect. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I run an online course and whenever someone signs up and makes a payment through Razorpay, I want to make sure that I can keep them updated. So by automatically adding them as a Flowdesk subscriber, after their payment, I can send them important course updates, lesson reminders and exclusive offers for future courses. For example, after a student enrolls and pays for a course, their email is instantly added to my Flowdesk list, allowing me to stay in touch and keep them engaged. This automation helps me save time and ensures that I can build a lasting relationship with my students by keeping them informed. So here to automate this entire process, I need to connect my Razorpay account with my Flowdesk account. And here to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL Pabli dot com slash connect here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free if you're a new user click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software and if you're an existing user click on sign in here i'm an existing user so i'm clicking on sign in now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. here to integrate my applications i'm going to use Pabli connect now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that here I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as create Flowdesk subscriber on Razorpay payment. And now I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select the folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here in my trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger application as reason. Pay because I am using Razorpay as my payment gateway to receive new payments. So Razorpay is a popular online payment gateway in India that makes it easy for businesses to accept payments from customers. Think of it as a bridge between your bank and your customers, allowing them to pay using various methods like credit cards, debit cards, net banking, UPI and more. People use Razorpay because it's user-friendly, secure and supports a wide range of payment options. Plus, it offers additional features like recurring payments, payment links and invoicing, making it a versatile solution for businesses of all sizes. Whether you are running an online store or offering services, Razorpay helps you handle payments smoothly and efficiently. So here in my Razorpay trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as 
payment captured so that whenever we are going to receive new payment through our razor pay then automatically papli connect is going to capture the response or you can say automatically this entire workflow is going to get triggered and here you can see after selecting my trigger event i have received a webhook url that means here i'm going to use this webhook url to connect my razor pay account with papli connect so here following the instructions given below here i'm going to copy this webhook url first and here i have already logged in my razor pay account so this is my razor pay account and from here i'm going to click on this account and settings option given over here and here under account and product settings you can see website and app settings and here under website and app settings you can see the options of webhooks over here so here i'm going to select it and now here under webhooks i'm going to add a new webhook by clicking on this add new webhook button given over here and here you can see for the webhook setup it is asking me to enter the webhook url so here in this webhook url field i need to enter the webhook url that i have received from my pabli's workflow so here i'm going to enter it and now here after entering the webhook url here it is asking me to select the active events so here for the active events i need to select the event similar to the one that i have selected in my pabli's workflow for trigger event so here i'm going to select my active event as payment captured so that whenever a new payment is going to be captured in our reserve pay then automatically the response is going to be sent to this webhook url and now here after selecting the required details i'm going to click on the screen web book given over here and here you can see it says we have book saved successfully that means we have successfully set up a web book inside our razor pay account or you can say that we have successfully connected our razor pay account with pabli connect so now moving back to my pabli's workflow and here you can see as it is waiting for web book response that means here to receive a web book response we need to do a test submission and to do a test submission we need to make a test payment in our razor pay so for that let me take you to my payment page which i have created using razor pay so this is my course payment page and here we are going to make a test payment so here you can see that my payment is in a test mode over here so here i'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission so here for the first name i'm going to enter the name as dummy last name as user email as dummy@babitudes.com and then here for the phone number i'm going to enter a random phone number and then here you can see the amount is already fixed so here we are not going to edit any amount and then i'm going to click on this pay and now here you can see that my payment is in a test mode so here i'm going to make a test payment by using a upi so here i'm going to enter the test upi so this is my upi id and now i'm going to pay the amount and here you can see we have successfully made a payment over here that means we have successfully made a new payment using our razor pay payment page so now let's go back to our pabli's workflow and here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received some details such as order id phone number customer details first name as dummy last name as user here you can see the email here you can see the payment method scrolling little town and some other details as well so with this we have successfully set up our trigger over here so now once we have received a new payment through our razor pay i want to use the customer detail and i want to add that customer in my flow desk as a new subscriber so for that here in this action step i'm going to select my action application as flow desk so flow desk is an easy to use email marketing platform designed to help businesses create beautiful professional looking emails people love flowdesk because of its stunning design templates and simple drag and drop editor making it perfect for non designers it's great for building eye catching newsletters automating email campaigns and growing your audience whether you are promoting products sharing updates or building relationship with your customers flowdesk makes email marketing look good and feel effortless so So here in my flow desk action step i'm going to select my action event as create or update subscriber so that whenever we are going to receive a new payment through our razor pay then automatically that customer is going to add as a new subscriber in our flow desk account and now here to connect my flow desk with pabli connect here i'm going to click on this connect here to build a new connection i'm going to select add new connection if your flow desk account is already connected with pabli connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection i'm going to click on this connect with flow desk so here you can see my account email and the password has already been prefilled over here because here i've already logged in my flow desk account so i'm going to directly sign in and then pabli connect is requesting for the access so here i'm going to give access to pabli by clicking on the allow button as your data is secured with pabli 
authorization successful so here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the field so here in the help text it says choose by which you want to create or update the subscriber so i want to create the subscriber as per the based on email so here i'm going to select the field value as email over here scrolling little down and then here it is asking me to enter the field value so here in the help text it says enter the field value for the subscriber this can be either the subscriber's email or subscriber id depending on the option select selected in the previous drop down field so here you can see we have selected email over here so here in this field value we need to enter the email of our subscriber so here instead of entering these details manually here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response that i've received in that trigger step Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever we are going to receive a new payment through our Razor Pay, then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So I'm going to search for my customer email. So this is my customer's email. So I'm going to map it. Moving forward, here for the first name, I'm going to search for the first name. So this is the first name. So I'm going to map it. And here for the last name, I'm going to search for the last name. So this is my customer's last name. So I'm going to map it. Moving forward, and then here it is asking me send opt-in confirmation emails to subscribers. So for that, I'm going to select no, and then here it is asking me to enter the opt-in IP and opt-in timestamp. So here these fields are not a required fields, so where I'm going to leave them blank. And if you want to add any other detail, then you can do it as per your need. And now here after entering all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received the successful response. That means we have successfully created a new subscriber in our Flowdesk account. So now let's go and check it. it here i'm going to refresh it and here you can see we have successfully created a new subscriber over here with the email as dummy@pabrityouth.com and the name as dummy user so with this we have successfully set up our automation now let's test our automation with a real time example to check whether it is working or not so to test our automation we are going to capture another test payment in our razor pay payment page so for that let me take you back to my payment page here i'm going to refresh it And now again here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as lead, email as test at the rate publicutes dot com. Here I'm going to enter random phone number. And here for the amount, the amount has been fixed. So here I'm going to pay the amount. And here I'm going to enter the UPI ID and then I'm going to pay the amount. So here you can see we have made a successful payment. So now let's go and check our Flowdesk account. Here I'm going to refresh it, and here you can see we have successfully made a new subscriber with the email as test at the rate publicutes dot com and the name as test lead. So with this, we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Razor Pay and our action as Flowdesk, so that whenever a new payment is going to be captured in our Razor Pay, then automatically the customer is going to add as a subscriber in our Flowdesk account. Now if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the flow link in the description box below. That's all for this video. I hope. you liked it thanks for watching not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with pabli connect so now if you have any doubt then you can email us at support@pabli.com and if you have any query then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can simply visit our website that is www.pabli.com so now if you liked our video then please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends